What's up? Welcome back to another video about Bitcoin. My name is Brian and I try to make thinking about Bitcoin simple for you and your family. Or if you've been around Bitcoin for a while, hopefully just open up some new discussions on it. Because um, I've been doing it for a while and yeah, just a big thing in a lot of these most recent videos about Bitcoin is just trying to, like I've said before, start 2022 with a blank slate thinking about Bitcoin as, you know, just my base money of me and my family. And so that's where a lot of this is coming from. So the topic for today is uh, home ownership and the intersection of Bitcoin and home ownership. I just put out a Twitter poll asking people who they think, if there's two Bitcoiners, which one do they think is in a better personal finance position? Someone who has two Bitcoin and is renting or someone who has one Bitcoin and is a homeowner. And obviously there's a, like a lot of variables with this. I purposely just kind of left it very, very top level and people are already just in the comments like obviously giving all the um, like accurate like uh, suggestions of like, well, there's a lot of variables and lots of different ways to you know calculate it and decide. Um, so for sure, 100%, 100% there's a lot of different variables. Um, why I think the question is still a good one to think about is because again, it's just Bitcoin is if we're trying to think about Bitcoin as base money, as the money that we use, then all personal finance questions are back on the table. It's like when we were going through the period of just learning that Bitcoin is better savings technology than dollars, then it was okay to just bucket Bitcoin as an investment um, and just kind of really only look at it through that paradigm and really think about it like that, of just kind of using dollars how we normally would, but then using Bitcoin as a savings account. I think that's largely just like pretty easy now. Like to be honest, like I think a lot of people are doing that now. And I think that's pretty, um, the people that have done that have been like rewarded handsomely by that. And um, people kind of ex have like seen the consumer price increases and kind of understand how fiat money is losing to goods and services and how they need like why a stronger currency like is better. So like that's out there, that's out there. So this whole thing of should you then be a homeowner, I, I want to go past kind of the typical just like homeowner versus renting like discussion. I kind of want to get past that because um, I don't like I don't believe that renting is throwing your money away. Like I don't I don't want to just be like another biased homeowner that's just kind of like spouting that like everyone should do it because like my equity has like increased so fast or whatever it's i'm i way more want to talk about like foundationally way different than that like just is it better to have so even take so i know i asked the question with bitcoin but take bitcoin out of it for a second and just say savings account like is it better to have a giant savings account and be renting or all else being equal is it better to have a savings account a good savings account, but not giant over the top because you pulled your down payment out of there with being a homeowner. And I kind of get the Bitcoin angle of the like, you know, you never, like you never really own your home. You still pay property taxes. Like, yeah, you know, if you have to move, uh, you can't pick up your home and take it with you, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, but also if no, the flip side of that is if everyone is a digital nomad and doesn't put down roots and like actually build like a house and a network and like a like build the infrastructure of the town that they're in then where are you as a digital nomad traveling to like we need both of these people together or what creates society and so you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to make it this just like forced like competition but i want both sides to kind of understand that like you know nomads can like bring new ideas and new information to a town and new ways of looking at things but then people that own the homes and like kind of build the community and are like known and own assets and like pour into what's going on there locally are what create kind of all of the different thoughts that we have of like the different geographies, like all the pros and cons of all the geographies are because of decisions made by humans in each of those areas, combined with like the natural pros and cons, you know, of the environment and weather and um, all of that stuff. But so there's obviously a lot of factors that go into this conversation, but I guess what I just wanna do with this video is explain that 
even if you're using Bitcoin as your base money, that doesn't take away from all the other kind of personal finance questions that are out there about like how to divvy up that money across different kinds of accounts and achieve goals. And I also just want to put out that I don't really hold like digital nomad or homeowner in like higher regard. Like both are good and fine. And like current season of life that like I'm in, I'm like really enjoying like sitting here like in a backyard and thinking about like my ability to have an impact on the world like from a home base. So, and what's crazy is that like Bitcoin provides such a solid financial foundation to then actually do that. Like what's weird is that like owning Bitcoin and having Bitcoin as my base money makes me more excited to be a homeowner because because I can be happy in my like in my home but not have to have that be my family savings account because a home is not supposed to be a family savings account that's only happening because the money is broken and so it feels good to still be able to like invest in a home and really make it the way that works for like my family and I while also holding like the best money currently available like on the free market and so that feels good and it's like so i would encourage you to think about that too the way that like bitcoin can almost like amplify whatever whatever other goals you're like looking at because money is half of every transaction and so if you upgrade to using the best money whatever else you're doing is going to be easier and better also so yeah hope that helped let me know in the comments if that makes sense like subscribe if uh, if you're open to it and we'll see you on the next one my name is brian and i like talking about bitcoin